Hi, I'm Wayne the Boat Guy, and in this video we're going to check out a new app, Argo Navigation. I'm very excited to try it out. So I heard about this app uh, on a forum online, and it's actually made by somebody who's local here. And the really cool thing about this app is essentially it's ways for boats. And what makes it different from other apps is it allows you to pick destinations and map your routes to that, and it should tell you time to get there. But also it takes into consideration the draft of your boat to plot you a route so that way you don't run aground, which is kind of nifty. So the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna open up the Argo navigation app. Now I've only played with this a little bit at home. I haven't dug into this too much uh, to actually use it. So one of the first things that's really cool that you set up is you set up the draft of your boat in here. So you say how many feet of draft you have in your boat or inches or whatever. And so it should help plot me a route to a destination based on that. So what I'm going to do is I already see that when I open up the app, it has plotted the dot of where I am out here in the river right now. So the app has me sitting right here where I am in the river, and then I'm going to pick a destination. So I'm looking at the map, and I found a restaurant nearby, and it says it's 2.4 miles away. And I'm going to go ahead and create a route. And now it has shown me a route to get to that restaurant. And so this actually, this app, from what I've read and what I've looked up, it works a lot like Waze does. If you ever use Waze in your car, the Waze app, what's really cool about it is that uh, it'll tell you things that are going on along the way, it tells you the best route to take, and it's very easy to use and it has you you're starting your trip. And here it says to start my voyage. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start my voyage and it tells me my ETA. That's just the oil alarm. All right, so I'm gonna keep this open on my phone. I'm gonna keep this open on my phone and we are going to follow the route that it tells me to take. I probably should have a cell phone mount in here for my phone. It's a gorgeous day, too. All right. Let's head on our way. So right now it's showing me what speed I'm traveling. It shows that I am traveling at six knots. And it shows me going exactly on the course that it has plotted for me. It tells me I'm in 10.8 feet of water. And according to the one in my boat, I'm in 12 feet of water. And right now the tide is low, so that makes sense. Now let's up our speed just a little bit here. Mrs. Wayne, the boat guy, is with me today, and she doesn't like to go boating very fast. So we'll be going at a leisurely speed. So according to this, I'm following the, uh, the route exactly. I'm going to vary from the route a little bit so we see what it does. So the app shows that I am off my line just a little bit. It shows that I am now traveling at eight knots, which seems about right.
Now it shows me at 10 knots and it shows how far off course I am. My dot is off of the line. So I'm turning this way to kind of steer back on the course that they have provided for me. So the chart this app uses is the regular old uh, navigation navigation charts, which I use in my uh, navigation app. So the charting is very, very familiar. So far, this app is pretty cool. I just sit there and just keep on putting the dot back on the line. And it shows like this marker right here. <laughs> so I just throttled back a little bit and here's what's really cool. We're at the edge of an area that's very, very shallow. Right over here, according to the chart, is about four feet deep. And so what it's doing is it's plotting me a route before I turn down the, that river of kind of right along the edge of that. We're in an area that's 14 feet deep, according to the chart, according to my dash. It says that I'm in 14 feet of water right now. And as I mentioned, the tide is low. So it is actually plotting me a course to go down here and then turn into the river. When visually from this area, if you look through here, it literally looks like I should just go straight that way but there is some shallow water between me and that, which is why you go this way and then come in. As I was coming across the river also, it was very neat to use because there's a line and there's a dot where it shows where my boat is. And I just can recorrect my course to go back onto the line at any time. Showed me how fast I was going, showed me my estimated time of arrival. Matter of fact, we sped up a little bit and I cut two minutes off of my arrival time. So, uh, Let's turn up and go up to the river here a little bit towards the restaurant. So I'm not looking at the landmarks or the markers. I'm following where the app's telling me to go. And it's keeping me right on the edge of that shallow shelf. And it's matching up with my depth finder and my boat. So my line, which is blue on here, shows uh, where it turns into yellow and then to red as I uh, get real close to the restaurant. So obviously there's very shallow water there. I'm thinking in the area where we are, this app might be better than having buying a, a device, you know? Just get a windshield mount for my uh, cell phone. I can mount it right here or on this, on my, uh, here at the helm somewhere. And uh, I don't need to buy a fancy uh, GPS system or anything. The great thing about it too is the cost of this app. It, it's free. <laughs> so. That crab boat there is listing to the side, it looks like. The one over here to the uh, 
to the right. All right, so we're here. I'm going to hit end voyage. Hitting end voyage will save it to my captain's log. So here it is the next day, and uh, I played around with the app a little bit more. One of the bad things that I found was that my trip back to my main marina, uh, when, it, when I asked it to route me back, the app cut me through an area that was very, very shallow. And I could clearly see that, because one of the nice things is that the app route also still shows the regular charting depth charts and so it showed me that it was going through some very shallow water um, so i was very concerned about that and i did not take that exact course so that was concerning because my route there it kept me right on the edge of shallow water perfectly so um, when i got back i actually contacted uh, the app developers because this is a relatively new app and they're still making improvements and enhancements to it. And um, we actually had a little bit of back and forth. They asked me to send them some examples of what I had seen um, going on with the app. And they're taking a look at that, which is, first of all, that's very, very cool. Um, so, uh, you know, kudos to them for, for that level of uh, customer service and attention to detail. What I like about this app, there's a lot to like about this app. I have tried a handful of other apps. Some of the apps that I have tried and used are Nautical, Aquamap, ProCharts, and TZ iBoat. And some of those apps I found to not be very intuitive at all. And this one, uh, I mentioned Waze, I may have mentioned Waze earlier, uh, is very much like Waze and has the potential uh, to really work well, uh, much like Waze does. And for those of you unfamiliar with Waze, one of the neat things that Waze does is it takes the consumer data and helps give you a better experience. So let's say, for example, if there's a hazard and somebody puts that hazard in like they would in Waze, that'll alert other boaters around them of that hazard. I haven't had a chance to experience how well that works and how that would work in the app, but it looks like it has the capability to do that. One of the things that I really liked about the app was how easy it was to use. I could quickly and easily pick a home spot, whether GPS dot or a marina that was close to me that was listed in there, and pick other destinations. And based on the speed that we typically travel, it was able to tell me very quickly how long it was going to take me to get to that destination and which route to take. And that's something that I couldn't find in any of the other apps. Uh, when I've used some other apps, I have to actually manually plot my course around to where I want to go. In this one, I could pick a town across the bay and just click on a marina symbol. When I clicked on that, and then I clicked on where am I coming from, and it just told me, you know, that's an hour and a half ride at the speed that I typically go, and, uh, and it showed me the, the right route to take. So that is very, very cool. Uh, where an app like this I think is very useful is in an area like the Chesapeake Bay where I'm at. Because uh, if my wife and I want to go out for a ride and you know I want to pick a destination, we can literally just either right from our house do this on our phone or as we're pulling out, we can pick a destination and just click on there and it'll tell us how long it's going to take and how quickly we can get there, which is really, really cool. Um, it has some other interactive features where it keeps track of your course, uh, of, the, of the, the trip that you took. Um, once again, all these kinds of things are stuff where you could share it with other boaters or whatever. In the past, when we would want to pick a new destination, if we were out in the boat and already underway, I'd have to take a look at the charts and try to really get a good look at the, at the charts on my phone and kind of go through and try to figure out where the shallows are and uh, you know, be looking at that as I was going. 
uh, with an app like this, just literally can pull it up on my phone and have that and set it up on there. For the casual recreational boater, this app seems like it's gonna be a very, very sweet thing to use. And uh, I recommend it for people who are doing the kinds of boating that I do. So as the app stands right now, even though it's not perfect, I still give it two thumbs up um, because this app is very easy to use, very intuitive, made for uh, effortless boating to our destination. And uh, you know, was always able to show me where I was on the depth chart, what the proper course was, and how long it was gonna be before I got there. Because as we head out to places, I'll talk to other people in my marina, and they'll tell me a destination's an hour away, but they travel at a lot higher speed than we do. And so this app compensates for that type of thing and lets me know really realistically how long it's gonna take me to get to a destination. So thanks so much for watching. Here's a playlist of videos that might come of interest to you and another video that was picked just for you. And please always remember to subscribe and ring that bell to get notified whenever new videos come out. Stay safe on the water.